This episode of Android Q&A is brought to you by Domain.com. So are you having issues with the giant phablet, the Nexus 6? Well, we got the top six solutions for six common problems. So here we go. Now to kick it off, let's talk about random rebooting. Here are the potential solutions. Corrupt or fragmented data in your phone could be causing an issue. Back up any important data and perform a factory reset. Disable active notifications. This is sometimes helpful. You can also disable the primary messenger application and try using Hangouts instead. Enable Google Play services and GPS high accuracy. You can also make sure your device is fully charged. And lastly, wipe the cache partition on your phone as this can remove any fragmented data. And number two is what's going on with the Bluetooth connection. Here you want to start by turning the Bluetooth on your device on and off again. If the problem continues, clear the cache for Bluetooth by first going to settings, apps, all Bluetooth share, and then clear cache. You can also go to Bluetooth share and tap clear data. You also want to restart the phone after clearing the data and cache. If this doesn't work, try booting the phone into safe mode. Now, some of you may be suffering from abnormal battery drain. Here's how to deal with that. Third-party applications could be causing excess battery drain, so disable any power-heavy applications that are running in the background unless they are frequently being used. You also want to ensure that all applications are updated to the latest version. Try uninstalling power-hungry applications one by one to see if the problem can be isolated. Turn off vibrations and reduce screen brightness if possible. Try rebooting the device with all third-party applications uninstalled or a factory reset. This should help clear out any damaged files in your data. Now let's talk cloud print errors and forced closings. Here is where you want to update your cloud print application and ensure that the device is fully up to date. Then go to settings, apps, all, then cloud print and select both clear cache and clear data. Attempt your factory reset to get rid of any fragmented data. Now, if your screen isn't bright enough in the sunlight, try this. First, go to settings, then device, then display and change your settings. You should be able to alter the brightness of auto brightness on your device. You also wanna try turning on adaptive brightness to automatically optimize the level of brightness on your phone screen in regards to the light around you. This setting is generally on as default and still allows for brightness settings to be altered when needed. Now, many Nexus 6 owners suffer from slow charging and if that's you, you wanna try this. Now, if the phone is charging slowly, you wanna disable all unwanted applications. Press the back button twice when exiting an application instead of simply tapping home. This closes the app from the background and prevents the excessive drain of power. You also don't want to play games when the Nexus 6 is charging as this requires extra processing power. You also want to check the charger cable and make sure that it's working by attempting to charge using another cable or charging a different device with the same cable and see if you have the same problem. Try charging through direct connection to a laptop or a computer, see if that helps. A malfunctioning app could be causing the problem. Try booting the phone in safe mode and see if it charges faster. If so, Perform a factory reset and reinstall apps selectively to isolate which app is the culprit. Now this is by no means a full comprehensive list of all the possible problems Nexus 6 owners could have, but if you do have a problem, put them in the comments below or in the forums at Android Authority, and I'm sure there are other Nexus 6 owners who can help you out with their own experiences. Now I think most of you have noticed that I've been enjoying playing with domain name extensions because it's not just about .com, .org, or .net anymore, there's a whole bunch of crazy options like .guru, .expert, .club, .company, or of course .ninja. And I thought it would be a great wedding gift if someone were to buy Kevin.ninja and give it to our own ninja as a wedding gift because the big man is tying the knot. Domain.com is the place to go when the next great idea hits you. It's one-stop shopping for all your domain name and web hosting needs. And the guys at Domain.com want to hook all our viewers up with a great offer. You can save 15 percent off all domain names and web hosting when you use our coupon code Android at domain.com's checkout. And don't forget, 15 percent off when you use the coupon code Android. When you think domain names, think domain.com. Now this is where I traditionally try and answer some questions that come in the comments and the truth is you're now all making me self-conscious about my out and about. 
It's hard to undo, but you'll notice in this show I tried to emphasize my about, but it's one of those things, you know? And I just had to say it, you know, there are more Americans making fun of Canadians saying A than there are Canadians saying A. Just want to put that out there. You don't want to forget about my brothers who've been working real hard to deliver the best Android content on the web. We got Josh, Joe, and the Technology Kevin, Lon and Chris, Gary Nash, and, and Taylor Martin on the team. That's right, you gotta check all their stuff out. I shall see you probably tomorrow on Android Q&A.